Hi, Julie here from RV Tips and Bits. Um, I am posting this video because we store our Jeep Wrangler when we are not traveling and I could not find one video showing on the newer Wranglers um, how to appropriately disconnect the battery for storage. I initially did it with just taking the negative terminal off and there was still activity going on in the Wrangler with power. Um, couldn't find anything to really confirm, so once I figured it out, I wanted to do a video to share with everybody. Okay, so we are in the Jeep Wrangler 2019. Um, I went ahead and took this connection off, but basically it goes right here. So you have two connections there, and then you have one to uh, the main battery here. This one here that's connected to this right here is the auxiliary battery. So if you just remove this one, as you normally would disconnect a battery for storage, you actually are still getting power to the system through the wires that are still connected because this one is hooked to a battery. So you have to disconnect this one and this one in order to completely disconnect power to your Jeep. With our RV, you actually have to also remove a fuse. However, through our research, I have found nothing confirming there's any kind of fuse that you have to remove for the auxiliary battery in a Jeep Wrangler. If someone knows of that, please post in the reply. But as of now, we are storing the Jeep Wrangler. We're just removing these two, both negative leads, and keeping them off the terminals while in storage. Hope this helped. Thank you. Mm -hmm.